can you answer this interesting question what is the purpose of the sebum produced by sebaceous glands your options cooling the body lubricating the skin enhancing tactical sensation or providing uv protection the correct answer is lubricating the skin the sebum helps to lubricate the skin preventing it from drying out let's see whether you can answer the second question which skin condition is characterized by red itchy and inflamed patches often associated with the allergic reaction your options psoriasis eczema dermatitis or rosaceous the correct answer is dermatitis the dermatitis involves inflammation of the skin and can be caused by various factors including allergies next question what is the term for the loss of skin color resulting in white or light patches on the skin your options hyperpigmentation hypopigmentation arrhythmia or pallor the correct answer is hypopigmentation the hypopigmentation refers to the loss of skin color leading it to lighter or white patches next question which type of skin cancer is most closely associated with the chronic sun exposure your options basal cell carcinoma squamous cell carcinoma melanoma or lymphoma the correct answer is basal cell carcinoma the basal cell carcinoma is often linked to prolonged sun exposure and is the most common type of skin cancer next question dear friends you are attending the most repeated mcqs based on human skin and this is the second part of this series i'm sure that you don't want to miss the first part because that part has covered lots of very important questions and the link has been shared in the description as well as on this i button and if the video is helping you then please support us by liking and subscribing and sharing our channel let's continue question number 31 what is the primary function of the eccrine sweat glands your options cooling the body producing sebum regulating hair growth or synthesizing melanin the correct answer is cooling the body eccrine sweat glands play a crucial role in the thermoregulation by producing sweat for cooling the body question number 32 which skin layer is mainly composed of dense connective tissue and provides structural support the options epidermis dermis subcutaneous tissue or hypodermis the correct answer is dermis the dermis consists of dense connectivity tissue that provides structural support to the skin question number 33 what is the term for medical specialty focused on diagnosis and treatment of skin disorders your options dermatology orthopedics cardiology or endocrinology the correct answer is dermatology the dermatology specializes in the study of treatment of skin related conditions question number 34 which type of skin cancer is most closely associated with the chronic sun exposure your options basal cell carcinoma squamous cell carcinoma melanoma or lymphoma 
the correct answer is basal cell carcinoma the basal cell carcinoma is often linked to prolonged sun exposure and it is the most common type of skin cancer question number 35 what is the function of melanocytes in the skin your options produce sweat produce collagen produce melanin or produce sebum The correct answer is produce melanin. The melanocytes produce melanin, the pigment responsible for skin color and protection against UV radiation. Question number 36. Which layer of the skin contains blood vessels that supplies nutrients to the epidermis? Your options epidermis, dermis, subcutaneous tissue or hypodermis the correct answer is dermis blood vessels in the dermis nourish the overlying abdomis supporting its health and function question number 37 what is the medical term for localized collection of pus within the skin your options cyst abscesses papule or nodule The correct answer is abscesses. An abscesses is a collection of pus caused by infection or inflammation. Question number 38. Which skin layer is responsible for the synthesis of keratin, a tough protein that adds strength to the skin? Your options epidermis, dermis, subcutaneous tissue, or hypodermis. The correct answer is epidermis. The epidermis, particularly the statum corneum, synthesizes keratin for skin strength. Question number 39. What is the term for the loss of skin thickness leading to translucent or paper-like appearance? Your options. Atrophy, hypertrophy, hyperplasia or hypoplasia. The correct answer is atrophy. Atrophy refers to the thinning of the skin resulting in a translucent appearance. Question number 40. Which skin condition is characterized by redness, flushing and visible blood vessels often affecting the face? Your options. Psoriasis, eczema, dermatitis or rosacea. The correct answer is rosacea. The rosacea is a chronic skin condition causing redness, particularly on the face, and may involve visible blood vessels as well. Question number 41. Which layer of the skin contains specialized cells called fibroblasts responsible for collagen production? Your options. Epidermis, dermis, subcutaneous tissue, or hypodermis. The correct answer is dermis. Fibro, fibroblasts in the dermis play a key role in producing collagen, contributing to skin strength and elasticity. Question number 42. What is the term for abnormal accumulation of fluid in interstitial spaces of the skin causing swelling? Your options. Edema, arrhythmia, petechia, Purpura. The correct answer is edema. Edema refers to the swelling caused by the buildup of fluid in the tissues. Question number 43. Which condition is characterized by thickening and hardening of the skin often involving fingers and hands? Your options. Psoriasis, scleroderma, lichen planus or urticaria. The correct answer is scleroderma. The scleroderma is a connective tissue disorder that leads to skin thickening and hardening. Question number 44. What is the term for small raised solid skin lesion less than 0.5 cm in 
diameter. Your options nodule, papule, plaque or vesicle. The correct answer is papule. The papules are small elevated skin lesions that are often red or pink. Question of 45. Which layer of the skin is rich in blood vessels and helps to regulate body temperature through vasodilation and vasoconstriction? Your options epidermis, dermis, subcutaneous tissue, or hypodermis. The correct answer is dermis. The blood vessel in the dermis play a key role regulating body temperature by adjusting blood flow. Question number 46. What is the medical term for the darkening of the skin in certain areas often due to hormonal changes or medication? Your options hyperpigmentation, hypopigmentation, arrhythmia or pallor. The correct answer is hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation refers to the darkening of the skin commonly seen in conditions like melasma. Question number 47. Which skin layer is primarily composed of adipose tissue and serves as an energy reservoir? Your options epidermis, dermis, subconscious tissue, or hypodermis. The correct answer is hypodermis. The hypodermis or subcutaneous tissue is rich in adipose tissue, providing insulation and energy storage. Question of 48. What is the primary function of the subcutaneous tissue's adipose layer? Your options regulating body temperature, synthesizing melanin, insulating the body, or producing collagen. The correct answer is insulating the body. The adipose layer in the subcutaneous tissue provides insulation, helping to regulate body temperature. Question number 49. What is the term for the fine, irregular red lines caused by stretching of the skin, often seen during pregnancy or rapid weight gain? Your options striae, papal, petechia. The correct answer is. Stry. Stry, commonly known as stretch marks, result from the stretching and tearing of the skin elastic fibers. Right? Question number 50. Which skin layer plays a crucial role in protecting the body from harmful microorganisms and external factors? Your options epidermis, dermis. The correct answer is epidermis. The epidermis acts as a barrier, protecting the body from pathogens and environmental damage. Dear friends, it is a time to comment your score in the comment section. And I hope that this video helped you a lot. If it is, then please do like, share and subscribe. And if you want to know more about medical related exams or questions, then please visit our channel. I'm sure that you'll be having lots of ideas and great knowledge being there. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next part of this video. Take care.